Hello, in this tutorial we are going to be making these two order. So to start, um, start a new part file. The first thing, sometimes when you model something like this, it's always good to follow the box shape that they, they are giving you. So in this, they are actually telling you that you start with start off with this shape and you can cut everything out. So what we can do is come to your sketch, start a new sketch and let's start our sketch on the front plane. And we are just going to draw a box. So come to center rectangle, draw something like that. And the dimension of which is this one is going to be 3.78. And the other dimension, which is going up is going to be two. Good. So once we have that, so we pretty much just did this dimension and that. And we are going to go to feature, extrude, and we are going to extrude it by the mid plane. And the distance is going to be 2.24, 2.24, and click OK. So we have our box that we are starting with. So what we can do now is cut off this shape in it, which is this point uh, 45, so and 5. So we would come to this click on this front face so if we are um, an isometric view like that you want to click on this face and sketch and I'm just going to go normal two, and the shape goes something like this so just draw a shape that goes like this and I have an extra line there I'm just going to delete that and we want to add our dimension. So the distance here is 0.5. So you will add um, from this. So I'm just going to dimension that. Let me start that again. So from this point to, the, to this line, 0.5. So we have that. And our angle is going to be 45. So select this to 45. So we have something like this. And we are just going to go to feature, extrude cut, and up to next, and click OK. Good. So the next thing we are going to do is we can just start cutting out this shape out. We can cut the one on the back. So we click on this back face, um, sketch, and number two. Um, the distance is, so they have a shape, a triangle. So again, draw a triangle on the back. So something like this. And the distance on the top part of it is 0.74. And the angle from the top face to the coming down is 45. So you just draw from that top face to that line 45. And we have something like that. Sometimes it's better to flip your model this way so you can see the dimension the way it is on the drawing. So again, we just go to feature, extrude, cut, and up to next. And we will do the same thing for that side. So click on this back face, sketch, number two. This time I'll click normal two again to flip it. So I'm looking at it from the front. So you can just draw a shape like this. I have a shape coming up, something like that. So the next thing we can do now is add our dimension. We know from the top down, from this line to that line is 0.74, which is right here. And from this line to that line, the angle is 30. So we are just gonna move this closer and we are just going to move this in. So we have something like that. And we know from this point to that, let me try that again. From this point, I still have my point selected, okay. From this point to this point, 
if I can select it. those two points, it is uh, 1.12. Or you could have dimension it from the edge and just add these two together. So we have a fully defined sketch. We come to feature, extrude cut, and this is going to be up to next. And click OK. So that's pretty much how you make a part like this. You can start with a box and just cut everything else out. So now we can cut these two features out. So click on the button, sketch, normal two. So I'm just going to use my corner rectangle um, sketch. And I'm going to use my corner rectangle, draw two corner box in here, something like that. And the distance from the, of the first one, so from here to this line is one. And the distance from here, so we have our one, and the distance from here to here is going to be 1.14. So we have 1.14, and we'll do the same thing on this side. So this box is actually going to be on on this line so we'll click this box and this edge click this line and this edge and make it collinear and the distance is going to be one so we have one and the distance on this dimension is going to be 0.76 so from here to here is 0.76. So we have 1.76, and we are going to the distance here from this line to this line is going to be 0.54. So 0.54. So if we flip it back this way, you can see what is going on. So we have 1, 1.14. Then the space, then one and 0.76. So we have a fully defined sketch. Um, you should have something like this. Then we're going to go to feature, extrude cut, and it is going to be up to next and click OK. Good. So the last thing we are going to draw is this hole. So we just come here, click that face. Sketch number two, and we'll draw a circle, add a dimension to it, which is 0.625. Then we would add our dimension from this edge to the center of that circle is 0.76, and the distance from this edge to the center of that circle is 0.62. We have a fully defined sketch. We we'll come to feature, extrude cut, and the distance is 1.12, which is right here, and click OK. And if I come to my isometric view, we have this part. Anyway, that's how you make this part. It's better to look at it from creating the box and cutting all the, the shapes out. Thank you, and I will see you in the next tutorial.